Okay, so welcome back to Green Pastures Online Devotional. This is day, what, 423? Anybody know what day it is even? Um, days are all melting into one, aren't they? And it's been really hard to keep track of what day it is. Um, but we've loved um, being online with you every day and we've loved all the feedback and really appreciate the encouragement. Um, today, I want to look at burden carrying. Um, a few weeks ago, again, I've lost track of how many weeks ago, but the kids uh, finished school and unknown to them, um, were finishing school for the whole year for the academic term. Um, and we walked down, we walked down to pick them up. We lived quite near to our local primary school. We walked down to pick them up and um, Cassie, I noticed Cassie with her school bag on her back, um, walking up with her school bag and I could see even by her posture, she was starting to slow down and she was bent over. And I said to her, Cassie, is your bag heavy? Let me carry it, let mommy carry it. And she went, oh, thanks so much. And she took it off her back and I threw it onto my back and we, we walked on up home. And you see, looking at her just in that moment, you know the way God speaks to you sometimes, just so quickly in a picture or an image. I just knew God loves carrying our burdens if we give them to him. We just need to give them. He is so ready because I was so pleased I could do that for Cassie. The minute I took that bag off her, her whole posture changed. Um, she started skipping up the road with her brother and sister to catch up with them. Her demeanor changed. Everything about her changed. And do you know what? As a mummy, that felt so good. That felt good that in some small way, I could have helped her. But how much more does our Father God want us um, to share our burdens with him? Here's, here's the scripture I want to share with you quickly this morning. And, and we, know it, we know it well. It's Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. And it says, Come to me, all you who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So isn't that just like looking at a child burdened down by so much stuff? And that is God looking at us right now with the burden of everything that's going on and just saying, come and share it with me. Come and share that burden. He is not going to lay. Here's what the message says. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn how to live freely. And it's not just the image of a little girl skipping up a road because she shared her burden with her parent. Now, here's what I did with that burden, with this backpack um, when, when she got home. And I think it's something that we all need to do from time to time. We are yoked to our Heavenly Father and He shoulders the burden. So He's not saying there's never going to be a burden. There's not a weight of responsibility. There's not some things that we have to carry through this life. But He's here to share it with us, shoulder it with us. We are yoked to Him in the burden carrying. But sometimes I think we carry things and things are heavy that shouldn't be there and that don't belong in our backpack. So when I got Cassie's school bag home, I started to unpack all the weight and all the stuff that was rammed into this tiny school bag and here's three things that were in there that I don't think should have been there and that that we shouldn't carry about with us on a day-to-day -day basis all her old school work so her school work for the whole year was rammed into that bag and it's not so like us we carry about stuff from the past that we don't need to carry with us every day there are past lessons that we need to learn from and we need to be grateful for those lessons and then we need to lay them down. We need to lay those burdens down, learn from them and move them on. Not carry, carry them into our day-to-day -day daily life, but set them down, share them with God and move on. Here's something else that was in her bag. There was some stuff in her bag that wasn't even hers to carry. So there was some of her little sister stuff. So she'd been kind enough to stuff some of um, her younger sister's stuff from school into her bag. Her younger sister's jumper, her younger sister's water bottle, her younger sister. And that was really, really weighing down her bag. Do you know, sometimes we carry burdens that aren't ours to carry in the first place. You see those things, you need to take those things to God. And I guarantee you, he is waiting to lift 
weights like that off you right now. If you bring those things to him in prayer, he will be so, so pleased and he would love to lift those burdens off you that aren't yours to worry about, that aren't yours to carry in the first place. And here's the third thing that was this bag was full of, just plain rubbish, just scrumbled up bits of paper and pens and things, broken pens and broken pencils that didn't work and random bits of rubbish that she collected up over the last week or two and we had to get all that cleared out. Maybe now in this time of lockdown isn't it a good time to sit and go am I carrying about rubbish? Am I carrying stuff daily into my daily walk and into my relationships and into my life that is rubbish and that doesn't belong there? What am I watching? What am I reading? What am I listening to? Is it rubbish or is it stuff that's edifying my soul? Is it stuff that's building me up? Is it stuff that's good for me, that's healthy for my spirit, soul and body? Or is it just plain rubbish? Those are That's one of the things we need to check. Um, about what we're carrying about with us, what burden, what is burdening on our back? Is it just plain rubbish and we need to get rid of it? Now, in Cassie's bag, there were a few things that I do think we need to carry about with us every day. And here's what they were. Let's see. So, our water bottle, and it was fairly heavy, but you need this. You cannot live without water. And do you know what? Here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, whoever drinks of the water I will give will never thirst. And do you know what that is? That is your eternal life. We need this. We need to make sure we are drinking of this, not drinking from anywhere else, not drinking from any other supply, but only Jesus. Only Jesus gives us that water that means we will never thirst again, which guarantees our eternal life. Here's something else that was in our bag that we need to make sure we are carrying with us every day into our day to day. It's our lunchbox. The bread of life, the bread of life. We need to get into the word of God, digest it, not just flick through it, not just skim over it. Get into the word of God, digest it, meditate on it, think about it during the day and apply it. That's that's what it means to digest the word of God, digest the bread um, that God gives us for our daily life. And we need to carry that about with us in our backpack every day. And here's the other thing that she needed every day in her school bag. And it was this, her pencil case. And do you know what? It is full of tools, scissors and glue and pens and loads of random bits, rubbers. And there, there's a bubbles, all the things you really need um, when you're in P4, when you're at school in P4, all the things you really need in your pencil case. Here's what the word of God says. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need everything we need to live a godly life. You are equipped with everything you need to live a life with God right now. So it is in your backpack already. When he says his yoke is easy and his burden is light, he has provided you with everything you need to make it right now. And you might be feeling like seeing this situation, Karen, you don't know what it's like for me. I'm on my own. I haven't seen anybody for, I haven't seen a real human being for weeks. I don't think I can do this. Do you know the promise of God for you today is he has given you everything you need to make this, everything you need to walk alive life with him and do you know that lovely verse in Matthew that we read at the start he is yoked to you he is right beside you in this in this journey carrying you through shouldering the burden shouldering the weight he is not going anywhere he is with you in this so today make sure that you are carrying the things that God needs you to carry, the things that God has asked you to carry. And you see all that other stuff, see the rubbish, see the things that belong to other people that are not your burdens to carry. See the stuff from the past that you need to lay down and let go of and that's actually weighing you down, holding you back. Get rid of that all out of your backpack and get the word of God in. Depend on that living water that's there to bring you life and know today that you are equipped. You are equipped for everything God is calling you to. Let's pray. So Father, um, we're so thankful that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. God, help us to walk in that knowledge today that we are yoked to you, that you are right beside us, shouldering the weight and shouldering everything that we have to carry. God, some really, really hard stuff and difficult circumstances, but your promise is you will give us everything we need to carry that. Everything we need to see that through is in you. So God, we pray for everyone listening to this um, today. God, I pray that 
that they would be so aware of your presence. Um, God, as they open your word, as they turn to you, the living water, God, would you quench their thirst today as people spend time in your presence? Because you are a good, good God and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.